Hi, my name is Logan Hubler, and this is the interactive advanced concept presentation number five, the lemon electrochemical cell fire. So for this experiment, the materials I used were a lemon, six copper clips, here they are, six zinc nails, here they are, piece of wire, I used this rubberized wire, and just normal wire to connect the copper and the zinc. And then I used steel wool and toilet paper. First, I rolled the lemon between my hands and my palms so I could soften it. Then I lined the six copper clips, as you can see, these six so copper clips about one centimeter apart on the same side, shown here. And then I did the same thing with the six zinc nails on the opposite side. As you can see, they're all about one centimeter apart, the same as the six copper clips. I then connected the first copper clip to the second zinc nail. And then I connected the second copper clip to the third zinc nail, and so on. As you can see, they're all connected. When, I connect it, when you connect the zinc and the copper with this wire, it creates a reaction between the copper and zinc that will create electricity. I then connected rubberized wire, these two, to the copper and the zinc. The zinc nail was the negative and the copper was the positive. The finished product, this is my finished product, should produce about five volts of electricity. Next, I placed some toilet paper onto some steel wool. Here it is. I crumpled up some toilet paper and placed it on the steel wool. And actually the steel wool I use is an SOS pad. I then placed the rubberized wire on top of the toilet paper. Now I did this outside. I just had to come in because it was raining. So I placed the rubberized wire on top of these. I'm not going to do it now, but I placed it on top of the toilet paper, both ends of it. So that's how I set up my experiment. Now, unfortunately, my experiment did not work. I only created a little bit of spark when I placed the rubberized wire on the toilet paper and steel wool. As you can see, my toilet paper is still pretty white. It's still here. You can't, can't really tell that a fire happened. I do have a little bit of black, but it was only a few sparks, not a big fire like the video showed. Now to answer the question of why the lemon electrochemical cell occurs. A lemon battery is made with a lemon and two metallic electrodes of different metals. The lemon and the two metals, which were the zinc and copper in this experiment. In this experiment, as I said, the two metals were copper and zinc. The energy for the battery does not come from the lemon, but rather the chemical change in the zinc. So many people like me, I thought it actually did come from the lemon, but before I did this experiment, and it actually comes from the chemical change of the zinc in the zinc nail. The battery I made has a copper and zinc electrode, copper and zinc electrode, separated by the electrolyte lemon juice. The lemon juice within the lemon separates it. It generates electricity as soon as the electricity has a path to flow from one electrode to the other. Metals such as zinc and copper in this experiment was the zinc and the copper conduct electricity well. As we know from doing this week's module, metals do conduct electricity very well. Different combinations of metals as electrodes will influence the amount of electricity generated. However, and now this is a really important thing to remember, if identical metals are used, electrodes will not generate electricity, which is why for this experiment, both zinc and copper were used to make the electricity. Now, if we were to use two zincs and connect two zincs, we wouldn't generate electricity. Or if we were to connect two coppers, it wouldn't generate electricity. That's why you need to connect a copper with a zinc and you need to connect two different metals to conduct electricity 
as we learned from this week's lecture. Now, like I said, my experiment unfortunately did not work. I've set up everything as followed in the video, but I just generated a little bit of spark from my toilet paper. As you can, I, you can kind of tell that it generated some spark, but it definitely did not generate a big fire like in the video, but experimental errors occur. Um, here's my finished product with the copper and zinc nails and the rubberized wire. And that is why the lemon electrochemical cell occurs. Thank you for watching.